and welcome to the eFresh.com Fruit, Vegetables and Potato News. Today is the 8th of September and these are this week's headlines. Banana diseases destroys plants in Africa. EU's bent cucumber repeal seen as threat. Potato blight threat eases in the USA. Fama fruit to solve fruit dumping. Pakistan achieves mango export target. Two diseases are attacking banana crops across Central Africa putting about 30 million people at risk in regions where it is a staple. The Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research recommended excavating entire banana fields and treating them with pesticides or burning the plants. Such measures are hard for poor farmers to afford and can devastate ecosystems. Bananas sprout from mother plants and killing them ruins a crop. One disease, banana bunchy top virus, stunts and kills plants. Spread by aphids and infected suckers from older plants, it can be impossible to eradicate from a crop once it's established. The other, bacteria wilt, causes fruit to ripen prematurely, which can wipe out up to 90% of a crop. It survives in soil and plant debris, and it is spread by insects and contaminated hose. The European Union has repealed its legislation concerning the size and shape of fruit and vegetables. Under the previous system, the European Union had set strict standards for size, shape and color of 36 fruits and vegetables. Since July 2009, the specifications for 26 products have been lifted. The new rules are designed to streamline the regulation system and cut red tape, which would allow national authorities to permit the sale of all fruits and vegetables, regardless of their shape and size. For consumers, this could see the return of the wonky cucumber and the knobbly carrot on the shelves. This decision will affect Cypriot farmers more than other member states, whose products are of higher quality and grown in larger quantities. The Northern Plains Potato Growers Association says potato blight in the Red River Valley appears to be well contained. The disease was confirmed last month in northeastern North Dakota's Grand Forks County. The association says it has not been found anywhere else since then. Potato growers are being told to continue scouting their fields and to continue spraying a preventative fungicide. A 1999 outbreak of the blight in the Northern Plains destroyed 125 million U.S. dollars worth of potatoes. The Potato, potato Association says if the weather remains fair, damage to Red River Valley potatoes from the disease this year should be minimal. FAMA, the Federal Agricultural Marketing Authority of Malaysia, plans to market local fruits to Indonesia, Brunei and Singapore to offset the low demand during Ramadan. Its Director General, Datuk Mohamed Sharif Abdul Aziz, said FAMA would help fruit growers and sellers overcome the dumping problem by organizing seasonal markets. He said FAMA was also planning to sell excess fruits in the areas of non-Muslims, due to low demand in Muslim-majority areas during the fasting month. He said Malaysian fruit growers and sellers sold 1 million Malaysian ringgit worth of fruits at a three-day fiesta in Singapore last month. Mohamed Sharif said Fama targeted fruit production from April to December to hit 100,000 metric tons. A target of over 100,000 tons of mango exports has been achieved by Pakistan this year. It is expected that a further 20,000 tons of mango will be exported by the 15th of this month. According to the Pakistan Horticultural Development and Export Board, 75,000 tons of mangoes were exported during the last season. A record quantity of the fruit has been exported this year due to the provision of better packing and processing facilities besides bumper production. The government has devised a comprehensive strategy in consultations with mango growers and exporters to double mango exports during the next five years. Under this strategy, packing and processing houses would be established in South Punjab and Sindh that would help increase mango exports to European and Far Eastern countries. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com fruit, vegetables and potato news. See you next time.